Hey people, Indrid here, 353, Send Unlock, Blue Team. Molek with a Tech Marine starts off with a Bolt Gun, can also support with structures and repair. Got some Blood Ravens here alongside Sparkling Hive Tyrant with a pretty sparkly Hive Tyrant actually. A durable hero that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed, bringing powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Gutierrez. Looking delightful there. Rounding off the team is Lucifer as a force commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat. Can also tank, disrupt and support some more Blood Ravens, so I'm going to get confused with units and stuff. Red team, Goma Pile as a leak to Alpha, a melee specialist can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. This is a dead scout model, I think. Flesh hook, yep. Alongside Orconero with a war boss, a melee hero walking through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. And rather than off the teams, Swagger Git Smacker as a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control, taking a bunch of damage early. That might win the fight for them actually, the amount of damage the Sorcerer took there. Maybe it wasn't worth grabbing that power. Yeah, they're off the field. Force Commander makes such a big difference in these early engagements with Space Marines. The battle cry and the disruptive melee. Pretty awesome. Click to Alpha Fleas. The scouts didn't drop another model. Double CSM for Swagger Git Smacker. Try and focus down that single entity Force Commander, I guess, with some Eternal War. Could lead to an Assault Squad coming in, or maybe the Chainsword and Storm Shield. Warboss getting quite low here. Saying hello to Gutierrez. Need to run, big fella. What's he up to? Gonna go down, I think. Yep, down goes the war boss. Orkanera not paying attention to them, I guess. Oh, they're doubling up in the southeast, that's why. Sluggers with their burners. Shotgun blast comes in. Has Molek got a sergeant? Yeah, no, they got shotguns first. The sergeant would allow them to spot a sneaky lick to Alpha. I'm sure we'll see them at some point. But they deemed it worthy to get the shotguns up first. Can't really argue with it. Helps you out in a fight a lot. Tech Marine with a Mastercrafted Bolter on the way. Goma Pile into a Ravener Brew. We might see double Raveners from them. Chaos Heretics getting an Aspiring Champion. No sign of Eternal War yet. Is a flank, potentially nasty flank from Sparkling. Doom Bolts is dodged. Gutierrez themselves have taken a decent chunk of damage though. I'm trying to reposition here. Swagger to not isolate the CSM too much. Here comes a turn of war on both of them. They're going to be pumping out quite a lot of damage now in tier 1. 468 to 470. War boss with a stomp now going for angry bits. And then they run away. Angry bits is in. They might have been trying to stick around for this to come into play so they could do the charge. That now I'm angry and get some health regen. Didn't quite work out for them. Ouch, Gormagon's almost wiped, getting doom blasted and shot up by the Chaos Space Marines. Who's going to blink first here though? Heretics with Aspiring Champion versus upgraded Gormagons. Termigant's helping out. Looks like they both get away okay-ish. Yeah, Sparkling Hive Tyrant has double Gormagons now. Tech Marine has stayed in play. Here comes the Lictor, there's the Flesh Hook. They're going to kill the Tech Marine, I think. Yep. Well done, Lictor Alpha. They've, gone, they've done some good Lictor alpha in so far. 435 to 470. We'll see how they scale up, though. There's always questions about how the Lictor Alpha scales up in 3v3s. I think Terrify makes them quite good. In kind of all situations, just being able to make something retreat. And on some maps, you can make the Lone Hunter really pay off here. And I think this map could be one of them where they can harass that VP, that natural VP in the north, maybe. They're on that side. 435 to 470 still with a one-to-one -one cap. Molek with some more tactical marines up in tier one. Kind of late. But here they are. Sluggers with their burners on the prowl. Might go after that hive tyrant. They're trying to get a revive here. Tech marine had artificer armor on the way. I guess maybe because Goma Pile doesn't have any warriors. 
Oh, Gamma Pau did lose their Hormogorns at some point. Didn't quite spot that. It might be on the west side somewhere. There's now I'm angry. That yellow hexagon denoting that the buff is up. 35% more damage, more speed and more health regen. Also it's got the spiky armor for even more health regen and health and damage against enemies on hits. On B hit I should say. Tech Marine gets away. I feel like they were in the field for a long time that Tech Marine. Artificer does give them health regen right here. Helps them stick around a bit longer. Meanwhile, can we see the Hormagaunts all dead somewhere? I don't see them. They might just be in the giant pile of bodies in the mid then. Tax thought about decapping that wreck point. Think again. Back to the mid. We've got Shooter Boys on the cap. You both have your... Yep, yeah, both fully upgraded with big shooters and knob leaders. And Swagger Gitsmacker goes tier 2 alongside Sparkling Hive Tyrant. And Goma Pile that went first. It did not go double ravenous. Very light tier 1 for Goma Pile. Into a quick Tyrant Guard maybe? I mean there's double tack so getting a zone throw buff quickly could do some work as well. Which might also force Molek into getting a Salt Squad and he can counter initiate them with Gene Steelers or something. Meanwhile... Southeast, big fight brewing here. Warboss charging in. Getting some good disruption on Gutierrez, the Hive Tyrant. Devastate is in a great spot to suppress those orcs, and they're gonna need to run, I think, those orcs. Yeah, and that's a big difference in the fight now, the orcs off the field. Salt Squad jumping into the back lines with the CSM. Warboss comes to say hello. With a stomp, there it is. Now getting some hits in. Can they kill a Marine here? Marine's trying not to hit him back, I think, because of the spiky armor. I mean, I don't think you have to thread it that much. It's piercing damage and it's not a huge amount of it. Wait, what is this? Why is it Angry Bits got into the into the melee, into the weapon slot of the war boss? I've never seen that bug before. Okay, now it's back. And now they have their spiky armor back too new bug every year in Dawn of War 2 you guys, it's like it's evolving like a Tyranid, double zone throws for Goma Pile here that could be nasty if those if those tactical marines bunch up and lob up into a pile of marine armor these guys are artillery units, they do not do friendly fire and provide a health regen synapse, those marines got messed up quite a lot have shorter range and not as much damage as other like tier 2 artillery pieces but they provide their own benefits, of course. Don't have to set up. Very weak to melee. They have 310 hit points these days. I don't know why the extra 10 was deemed appropriate to put on them, but they have it. Might save them. Force Commander with a Power Sword and Artificer Armor. I think you should get the Plasma Pistol back into the Power Sword kit. The reason why the Plasma Pistol was removed is because Plasma Pistols are so bad. For some reason they just gave him a bolt pistol rather than fix the plasma pistols being awesome. But now they buffed the plasma pistols across the game basically in 299. So I'd like to see it back. Assault squad on the way for Molek to counter the double zone throats. And we'll see what Goma Pile does with that. They do have scything talons which are already a great way to counter initiate. 81 power melee DPS. Meanwhile, southeast, contested power turning blue. Weird boy on the way for Orcanero. There's that Tyrant Guard of Sparkling. They might have called it in. Have they seen it yet? Swagger with triple CSM, by the way. Could, so we could see triple Mark of Zinch on these guys. Shotgun Blast knocks all of them down. Yeah, bad place to have your CSM all lined up in front of a scout squad, I guess. But if they do all get Mark of Zinch, that Tyrant Guard could get melted with that super heavy infantry armor. Taking extra damage from those Inferno Bolts. Here's the weird boy. Does have warp head up for the foot of Gork. Stern Guard veterans in for Molex. So they can change ammo types to combat all targets. And they have Hellfire acid rounds loaded in to do damage over time to these Tyranid fellas. Only applies to light infantry and heroes, which is Goma Pal's in entire army right now. There's that jump. And Goma Powell instantly responds with the Gene Stiller Brood. 
Meanwhile, in the mid, Gutierrez going mental with some crushing claws and the bonded exoskeleton. They're ready to roll. Tyrant Guard pushing forward. Pretty far to push your Tyrant Guard up. That was a warp bomb. It wouldn't have stunned the Hive Tyrant. Sorry, it wouldn't have stunned the Tyrant Guard, but it would have stunned the Hive Tyrant who ran off. Force Commander mixing it up. Oh, but there's the line of Mark on CSM now. Oh, two of them have it, not all three. Grenade is easily dodged. The Sorcerer now has a rod of warp fire, as well as the vestments of the warp. You can see that little up arrow on top of their indicator there, denoting a jump ability or some kind of teleport or something. Goma Pile coming to help out on this side. They got their VP uncapped and this wreck point as well. Red team have good rosters, but they're really suffering on map at the moment. Goma Pile with that very light tier one meant they couldn't really push their side very hard and get onto that VP, but now they have a pretty powerful tier two army with double zone tropes and a Gene Cinder Brood. Oh, I just saw the power claw come in for the war boss there. Dreadnought coming in now for Molek. Might want to keep that thing in melee mode, at least at the start, to mop up these gene stealers. There's the high-powered shot, and the Stern Guard get their Hellfire rounds in, and grenades going off, doing some really good work, actually. Awesome grenades. Sorry, mines, not grenades, from the Artemis arm. I don't get to see them that often. But yeah, Goma Pile has nothing to spot those things. They were awesome. Level 2 Tech Marine now. Can they take out? Ouch! Stern Guard almost wiped to those double zone tropes. I was going to say, can they take out the Lictor Alpha with the... Um, Hellfire rounds on retreat, but I guess not. They do have the pheromones up now too. Pheromone, I guess. That tyrant guard is probably done for. In fact, the hive tyrant will also be done for. Oh, there's invulnerability. Maybe not. They're going to wipe those shooter boys. They do. Shooter boys are down. Or Canero. Yeah, alongside the weird boy, they have enough damage to get the tyrant guard, and the hive tyrant is also going to Right, there we go. I mean, they still have five units on the field, Sparkling. Including a new Venom Brood here with ranged Synapse. There's the tier three. Yeah, we have tripled Mark of each now. And, oh, two of them have Aspiring Champions as well. To get those Demonic Plasma Guns. With slight, it's not a huge amount more DPS than an Inferno Bolter. But because it's a Plasma Gun, it has a different firing pattern. Which is much, much burstier. Del delivering all that damage at once, which is typically what you want. Typically what you want. Dreadnought. Oh, they got the Assault Cannon. Here come the Genes to the Brood. And a Venom Brood being called in by Goma Pyle. Assault Squad is on them immediately. The double Zone Tropes can do a fo focused Warp Blast to damage the uh, Dreadnought. One of the Zone Tropes goes down though. Big fight here. Assault Squad of Wipe and a Wipe, I think. Didn't Lucifer has, have an Assault Squad as well? Well, they're getting one now. Maybe they didn't. I thought they had one to fight the triple CSM. Yeah, I think this Dreadnought's done for. These aren't like anti-vehicle melee units at the moment, but there's just so many of them. Blessing of the Omnicide tried to come in there and save it with some repairs, but it was too late. And oh yeah, all these things are power melee, and that many of them going to do some work. These guys healing on hits, as you see there. Shotgun Blast gets rid of them. Who's this down in the mid? It's Gutierrez. And the Force Commander's also down here. Coming res, says Orconero. They're coming for the Lictor Alpha. Who went down in that big fight. Molex. Oh, the Assault Squad did get away. And here is Lucifer's Assault Squad. To jump the triple CSM. Did the Force Commander get... Anything else? Oh, looks like they've got a teleporter pack because they have that up arrow. I thought they had a sacred standard as well. They must have replaced it when they saw the triple CSM with Marco Zinch. Tier threes everywhere aside from the Space Marine players. Librarian uses quickening to get away. Sorcerer. I wonder if they'll save that warp fire disruption for where the, for when the assault squad jumps in. Or do you just throw it on the stern guard? Lucifer does have stern guard now. 
could also use it to disrupt the librarian when they're trying to do the um, force barrier and stuff, maybe. I think that would work. I don't think they get... They don't get knocked back immunity or anything, do they, when they're channeling the force barrier? Oh, they don't channel it these days, do they? I guess it, I guess it wouldn't make a difference. I'm not sure if they could disrupt the casting animation and make it stop. War boss flees. The, the sluggers also need to flee, I think. Yes, they do. Good push by the red team. There's a foot of Gork. Nicely timed. Crunch takes out a capillary tower though. War boss is down. Gonna get revived by a friendly Victor Alpha hits level four. Commandos on the way for Orcanero and Eurothrow already up for Sparkling Hive Tyrant. There's Cataclysm. Disruptive area of affectability. Powerful anti-infantry subcommander for the Tyranids. I often want to call it a super unit, but Technically it isn't because you can get the Swarm Lord and the Neurothrope at the same time. I guess it's not quite on the level of a super unit, is it? It's just very cool. Thunderhammer Force Commander now. So they can teleport in and knock over all of these CSM. CSM looking for the Venom Brood and look at the damage. There is a Paroxysm though. Paroxysm is an amazing thing to have against that blob of Marines. Doing percentage based damage over time and slowing them down. And the Force Commander's doing his thing as well. Was that a Robes of Torment? Chains of Torment there? It was. Instantly went down though. Sorcerer runs off. They were in a bad spot, the Sorcerer. Want them a bit further back to like survey the battlefield and do things. But now they know that the Force Commander can teleport in like that. They can save their Chains of Torment for him. Ideally, when the Assault Squad and the Force Commander jump in. Although I think, as long as the central... Yeah, as long as the central mass of the chains is up, anything that gets into range also gets stuck. They don't have to be there when it's casted. Foot of Gork, pretty damn effective there. Set up by the Love the Dark Up of the Commandos. Nicely done by Okonero. Stomp knocks back the Force Commander and the Power Core is going to go in on him here with that commando, Commando's DPS. 280 to 341. 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Carnifex on the way for Goma Pile. Stone Guard's getting messed up again. This time by the Lictor Alpha. There's the jump. Where are the Gene Stealers? They're there. Actually infiltrating there. There we go. They can pop their Adrenal Rush maybe. Yes, I think they just popped it. Gives them more damage output and I think some damage resistance as well as the um, more health on hit. Just a slightly higher percentage, I think. Could they time a grenade there? I thought they were going to go high powered shot suppression into a grenade, but they went for the shotgun blast. Gene Stiller Brood are taking, they're just drawing so much fire now. Carnifex is in. No upgrade yet. Nob Squad on the way for Orconero. Swagger gets Smacker well into tier 3. Nothing on the field yet. I guess they want a great unclean one or a Phobos here. Map looking quite red at the moment. Red team did a great job pushing back. Heretic trying to cap under heavy fire. Doom blast and run. There we go. Double of Hormagons both still alive for Sparkling Hive Tyrant. Knows, off, knows how to look after little fellas. Well, maybe not little Termigants, but there's Chains of Torment. But there's Paroxysm, and there is the Force Commander coming in. Ouch, and a smite one in Imperial Abyss in the back lines. Wow. What a nuke. You will not see a better nuke for a while. Holy crap, that was good. That was superbly good. Yeah, superbly well done. Got the Chains of Torment in there. Port them on a corner. Was an excellent nuke from Swagger Gitsmacker. That Zeechee and Imperial Abyss. They all do the same thing, but they nicely coloured for us. Carnifex on the way for Sparkling Hive Tyrant trying to recover. Lucifer goes tier 3. Swagger Gitsmacker says they got 500 red for dropping the 500 red nuke. That's amazing. It's like a free nuke. 
Silk Squad jumping in. Going after the war boss, but looks like he's in retreat anyway. Force one are now helping out in the north because the Tyranids are close to that close to the VP here. Shotgun blast on the gene stealers and the Thunder Hammer doing his thing. The Nero Throat survived, yeah. What did the Carnifex get? Oh, it's a thorn back. Oh, it's in base. It's gonna die. Oh, they lost control of it, Goma Pyle says. Yeah, that's a bug that can happen with. It seems to only happen with melee walker vehicles. Or Carnifex is kind of thing. It seems to happen happen most often with Carnifex, actually. And Wraith Lords, it seems. Don't really see it off, often happening much with Dreadnoughts. Swagger gets smacked with a great unclean one on the way. And the knob squad of Orcanero is up. They have Mina and Greena and their Ooh Jammers. Now they just need a knob leader. I think they got a slight cost reduction in one of their upgrades, the knob, the knob squad. It's not quite as expensive to field them fully upgraded now. Tyrona formation from the Sparkling Hive Tyrants. Some good work. Smite came in again as well. It's quite painful. There's the Chains of Torment and a Paroxysm and a Nuke catching some retreating stuff. Oh boy, is that going to wipe those CSM? They put the the beams all in the same place, which means you get more damage as they're lifted. But it's typically better to spread them out so that they blast, each beam blasts stuff into another beam. These guys are actually not retreating. They broke their own retreat there, that was weird. Yes, Swagger lost all three of their upgraded Chaos Space Marines. There's a great and clean one. I'm still dealing with my throat, guys. Apologies. Force Commander level 5. What are we looking at in the rosters here? Molek has a Predator tank. The Carnifex is a Strangle Thorn Cannon for Sparkling. Swagger just got hit super hard. Lucifer's trying to recover still with a Plasma Cannon. Good way to recover on a contested VP kind of meat grinder map. Great Unclean One smacks down a capillary tower. Taking a bunch of damage though. Why aren't they moving? Looked like they were stuck for a second. Now they're fighting that thing. Passively damages nearby enemies every few seconds. Has some nasty abilities and powerful melee. Imperial Abyss from Swagger again. Not as devastatingly effective this time, but killed a couple of Assault Marines. And helps the red team push. Foul Snare. Are they going to kill that Stern Guard? I guess not. They're fighting the Force Commander, actually. Molek took a beating, but they did get away with everything alive, I think, at least. Level 8 Chaos Sorcerer now has the Tome of Subjugation. So those Space Marine players need to think hard before they try to get Terminators on the field. There's another Orbital Bombardment. And we have some Subjugated something. What's been... Oh, they Subjugated the Librarian, I think. Force Commander tossed aside. Where is the Sorcerer now? Oh, there's milling around. They be milling. Lost the indicator for them. Force Commander just teleported somewhere. I'll teleport it back. Predator tank. Taking a bunch of damage there. Knob squad down to three units. But here comes the knob leader. Get over a thousand hit points by themselves, the knob leader. I think it's 1050. There he is. In the mid, it's turning red. Termigants on capping duty. Nero Throat does get away. Paroxysm is a great tool to have against a great and clean one. Percentage based damage against all those hit points, but the sorcerer can teleport that guy out of trouble. If they're in a good position, that is. They themselves are in the mid now. They'd probably retreat if they saw it get in trouble to get the warp. Lucifer with a Vanguard veteran squad. There is a turn of formation again, this time from Goma Pile. Some decent hits. Typically not the most devastating damage nuke the Torino Formation. It's all about the buffs that you get around it. So you kind of want to push alongside your nuke a bit more than the others. 
There's a foul snare. And a dead tech marine, maybe. Yep. At least they threw the tech marine back towards their own base. So they could get revived. Commandos being all sneaky. Going to open up on the tank, maybe. Yes, they do. Not sure if they can get it done, though. Stone Guard switching to Dragon Fire Rounds for some reason. There we go, Hellfire Rounds. QT areas capping the mid, level 6. Some depleted rosters here. Goma Powder does have another Carnifex, as you see, with a Venom Cannon. She's shooting at the enemy Carnifex. They have vehicle armor, of course. You need those anti vehicle weapons, such as the Venom Broods, Venom Cannons. Is it worth just stomping the Great 91 back to base now to heal up. Probably not. When you know that you can warp it out. It'll be much more aggressive with him. Swagger is floating resources like crazy in there. They cannot get a Phobos because they have the Great Unclean one up. But surely they should get something. They might be waiting for the red to get terminated just 350. Paroxysm comes in and there's Mark Target on the Nob squad as well, thanks to Signal Armor. 88 to 280. Double cap for blue. Red team are oh, very depleted. Very depleted. Swagger needs to spend. Still on 320 red. Need to get something else up though, surely. They could get a tank up and still have enough resources for Terminators when the red comes in. 88 to 247. Oops, what have I pressed? There we go. Another carny effects on the way for Goma Pile. There's also a second one here for Sparkling. Some Zinchu in worship for the big fella. And a Rock's coming in. Just to stop the cap, I think. Might have been more efficient to use elsewhere to get more kills, but it certainly stopped the cap. Great unclean ones, scaring off some Vanguard veterans. Is taking shots though, and the Stern Guard have their vengeance rounds loaded in, which is anti vehicle slash anti super heavy infantry. And the great unclean one is super heavy infantry armor type. Librarian in a bad spot. What are you up to, buddy? Looks like he's going to be all right. Is there a foul snare? I don't think it would be enough in any way. Level 9 sorcerer here. Dreadnought. Nope. Tank on the way for Lucifer. I, I wonder if they are indeed. Avoiding Terminators because of the Tome of Subjugation. I mean, you can counter it with the Librarian. Lucifer does have one. Doesn't have infinite range on the Gate of Infinity, but it's pretty damn good. Swagger still not spending those resources as Subjugated Vanguard Veterans turns them against the Stone God Veterans for a moment. What did that second Carnifex get? Strangle Thorn, double Strangle Thorn is it for, yep, for Sparkling. Nothing yet on the second of Goma Piles. Double Cap is still in. Red team are getting their natural. Might need to keep Commandos here. Commandos are a pretty good solo unit because they can throw their bomb and then do Love the Daka. Which typically forces a lot of squads to just retreat. Chaos Terminators are in for Swagger against Maka. Now they need to spend more resources. They're only at 55 pot. Auto cannon comes in. Can they get in the mid? Lick to Alpha is on it. Level 4. Double Bioplasm is going in. Some decent hits there. Nob squad. Trying to get forward. There's Mark Target on them. Pop their frenzy. Haven't seen any war boss buffs on them though. Force Commander has a sacred standard back here. Now that all those Chaos Space Marines died, I guess. Nob Squad with a decent pressure push there, but they are dealt with. Neurothrope is still up, of course, which is a nice tool to have against the Nob Squad. 88 to 101. They decapped the mid, at least. Swagger still not spending all those resources, though. What are they up to? Vanguard veterans on the field. Uh, subjugate, I should say. They like to subjugate them. Got old commandos in a bit of bother. Vanguard veterans messing them up. Great team was there to counter initiate. There's a cloud of flies. 
gets them to run. Another carny fix on the way for Groma Pyle. 60 to 101 on the VPs. There we go. Swagger is now purchasing something. It's a noise marine squad to get a blast master up, I imagine. Foul snare on a librarian. Good target for it. Should be alright though. Right? Maybe. I'm trying to kill those heretics, I think. So that the worship is gone. It's a Venom Cannon Carnifex for Groma Pyle in the end. There's the double Strangle Thorn Cannon ones. Bioplasma goes in. And there's the third Carnifex for Groma Pyle up. Looks like... What is this? Yeah, some Marines back there to guard the VP. Not the best thing to have to guard a VP, but it's something. Especially fresh Marines like that. Oh, they're not fresh. They're level 3. I thought they were drop-potted in there or something. Those are level 4 Marines. 56 to 79 on the VPs. Triple Venom Cannons to counter... To counter sparkling spine effects, I guess. They've taken one of them out. There's a Paroxysm. Grand Kuma needs to go back to base and heal. No point to stand in there, buddy. Swagger went double Noise Marines for double Blastmaster. We need to get back a foothold on the mid though. Here we see level 8 Hive Tyrant for Sparkling. Persuaded to leave, so were the Stern God. Was that push worth it? Plasma Cannon. Kills a few. No, did not kill any heretics there. They be alive. Commandos, can they take out that librarian? Nope. Force Commander says no, has the teleporter back in. Level 9. That was a flesh hook, but they were in battle crime mode, so they weren't pulled. Not running though. 56 to 40 on the VPs. Last Master and Blast Master set up in the mid. Carn effects of Goma Powder down to 32. VPs. Where is the Grand Kill one? It's fully healed. It's back at base, fully healed. Needs to get into the field now. Force Corner doing his thing in the back lines of the Orcs. They're trying to push onto the VP here. Got some Terminators up for Molek. 1 to 1 cap, 56 to 22. It's very close. What is this? So just some Termigants capping some things on the east side. Carn effects is backing off. It's a tough spot. Got some heavily injured Carnifexes. Doesn't want to lose them, but also needs to keep some kind of pressure in the mid, you know. Last Masters are both going to have to leave here. Swagger still has a bunch of population and they're not using it. Could be a big mistake. Not getting anything else on the field. They could have had a tank up. Or some blood letters to help them jump this stuff. Terminators. Yep, Terminators this time for Lucifer. Here's some subjugated Terminators. Oh, and they and they consumed one of them with the Great and Clean one while, while they were subjugated. Cheeky, cheeky sorcerer shenanigans. Then teleports them into a bad spot. Meanwhile, Scout tried to get a decap, didn't work out. Is that the Lictor? No, so the war boss was going for that VP and went down. Oh, Neurothrub getting too close. Got flesh hooked, or rather foul snared. Throws up the paroxysm though. And that might have helped it escape. There's the 2 to 1 cap against the red team. And they're going to get it. And why did Swagger not spend their resources here? That's crazy. They're at 70 pop and so much resources for so long. Big mistake. Big mistake. Meanwhile, level 7 tech marine. Level 8 Hive Tyrant. Did not get an accessory. Level 10 Force Commander switching between Sacred Standard and that teleporter to great effect. Level 6 Lictor Alpha for Goma Pyle. A level 7 War Boss down at the end. And a level 10 Chaos Sorcerer. Did that epic nuke. But uh, then got nuked themselves and just didn't, didn't spend their resources for some reason. Awesome game though. Very close. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.